Hey guys, up here. We're gonna be doing a reaction to Starscream vs. Rainbow Dash. The Transformers and the My Little Pony one. To be honest, uh, it's too obvious Starscream's gonna win because he's a fucking machine and she's a pony and Yeah, he can just squish her. I mean <laughs> it would be nothing but a freaking horse fly to him. <laughs> Get it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Gamefly. Medulla may be wrong. Rainbow Dash is strong, but against a machine that can shoot bullets at you. Yeah, I mean, it would take a lot of hits Television to bring it down. has been used to market toys to boys and girls for generations, ranging from G.I. Joe to Barbie and Transformers to My Little Pony. Are we really doing Brody. this? Brody. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, well, Starscream from the first I like the Phantom Decepticons. War. And Rainbow Dash of the G4 Pegasus Ponies. He's with and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find what out Brony who did win like her. a death battle. <laughs> I have never the seen the, of the Decepticon that old battle fleet. version he of that show. seeks power show. and often attempts to usurp Megatron's leadership of the Decepticons. My mind's a little, little slow. Success. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! He has two forms, giant robot and jet. His robot form is primarily meant for ground travel, though it can fly short distances. This form's weaponry consists of cluster bombs, missiles, machine guns, Maybe and trademark Dash will have the advantage. a laser that shuts down anything that uses electricity. He can transform into an F-15 Eagle, a twin-engine all-weather fighter jet with top speeds reaching Mach 2.8, nearly three times the speed of sound. In jet form, he can fire three different types of homing missiles. Uh, from short range yeah. sidewinders to long range. I saw my bet on him. The trick, he's equipped with an M61A1 Vulcan Gatling gun that fires 20 millimeter ammo at 6,000 rounds per minute. Fun fact, it also works great for hunting. Starscream is a coward and uses cheap tactics, often shooting his opponents in the back. However, his deadliest weapon is arguably his silver tongue. While he is not the strongest Decepticon, he is a clever and deceiving speaker who can worm his way into favorable positions. Despite this, he is a terrible strategist. Most of his plans instantly go wrong. <laughs> like when he took over the Decepticons because Megatron had a sore throat. Oh, oh, too bad. He's blown his vocal components. I guess that makes me the new leader. It was short-lived. And yet his persistence paid off, and he was eventually mm -hmm. crowned leader of the Decepticon faction. Again, short-lived. Starscream mm -hmm. was king for a whopping 20 seconds, a personal record. However, after his death, Starscream discovered that his spark, or life force, was somehow indestructible. And a good thing too, because since then he's been dying nearly every episode. <laughs> his ghostly spark can possess machinery. He has taken over several other Transformers, robots, and even a cybernetic schoolgirl while she was using the bathroom. What? Unfortunately, his poor knowledge of human society led him to forget to pull up the girl's underwear, making him <laughs> the laughingstock of the school. Props to you, Japan! I didn't see that one coming. You're an idiot, Starscream. Okay, Rainbow Dash might have the advantage because she's Rainbow very clever. Dash is a Pegasus pony from Equestria, the magical land of ponies. But the same goddamn After theme song for school, five found a job fucking weeks or er, seasons. She is a strong, agile flyer with great Six durability seasons. and resilience. She can smash through trees and solid rock and get right back up. She is also training to join the Wonderbolts, a superb she already of is. who are kind of like the Blue Angels. Except they're ponies! She is also a black belt in karate. How does a pony learn karate, let alone master it? As a Pegasus, I know how you feel, I tried that, <laughs> and it hurts. She can use the clouds in the sky to manipulate lightning strikes or precipitation. Also, I'll pick as I can. And control giant tornadoes. She's also got some other moves, like the Buccaneer Blaze, which apparently is so amazing it can't be shown on screen, and somehow it creates a huge explosion. Rainbow often brags that she's the fastest in the world, <laughs> and you know what? She's right. By calculations according to this guy, Rainbow <laughs> can fly five times the speed of sound with ease. Eh? This is apparent through the mock cone that often forms around Rainbow, which indicates she has broken the sound barrier. I thought the and sound the barrier was a thousand miles per hour. Mach 5 speeds. This is a pony! A baby horse girl toy! 
Why is it so Philly, awesome? teenager. And upon breaching Mach 5, she enters hypersonic speeds to create the sonic rain boom. With this, her speed doubles instantaneously to Mach 10. And somehow, the resulting sonic boom completely shatters the visible light spectrum. Not to mention the... You ever get the feeling something really bad is about to... Beautiful. Sonic Boom itself is apparently strong enough to split solid rock and shake <laughs> the entire mountain. Rainbow is brash, I haven't seen that episode in so long. Competitive. But while she's steadfast I usually just watch them once. sometimes cheats to get her way. Well. Not so fast as eating cow sucker. Jesus. Let's make it fight a giant robot. Yeah. Uh, she's done a lot better from that egocentric right, little bitch, but yeah, this debate, like I said, she's mature. But first, apparently, all of you haven't signed up. Apparently, I want to go for Rainbow Dash, but I also want to go so Star Screen, but Rainbow Dash seems to have the advantage. So I'll video game go to her. Not because I'm a Bruni, but strategically, yeah, he's a robot, but hit it hard enough that robot's dead. Members can rent one to four games at a time for as long as they want, with no late fees, no due dates, and free shipping. And if you like the game enough, you can buy it for a discounted price. Right. Everyone go to GameFly.com forward slash death battle and get 15 free days of games. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Uh, this, uh, challenge the mighty stars. 80s games? Something? So? Hi there! Fight! Yeah, Rainbow <laughs> the House is a lot smaller than that compared to him. You in an instant! Prepare to be annihilated! You talk a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that part. It. I am going to kill you! Tag! <laughs> yeah, she's too maneuverable. <laughs> All right, don't move. Lost it. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, she uh, definitely had a really You're big ego past right. seasons. But luckily, she matured, kind of. Are you? Show yourself. Hey. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> How that thing killer is beyond me. Right. It is off. Oh, you got shot in the fucking head. <laughs> Don't you stop charging him? Wait. Rainbow's speed and agility were more than a match for the clumsy star screen. And it doesn't help that his aim is even worse than a stormtrooper's. I hit a bird once. Not to mention, <laughs> the Soul Ray is designed to destroy electronics, not living ponies. She just ate a transformer. 
Yes, and while Rainbow might experience some mild indigestion, Starscream's not going anywhere anytime soon. Well, she put the pone in pony. The winner is Rainbow Dash. Next time on Death Battle. We already did the Halo vs. Doom. Hey, you got an idea for a death battle? Okay, that's that. Okay, it didn't have much. Uh, yeah, sorry, I haven't made a reaction in a while. Being, going through stuff. Going through stuff, whatever. But, yeah, I finally made a reaction video for you guys again. Uh, hope you like it, and have a nice day.